Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands. If you are new here, this is basically the place where we keep all our Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures. Okay, so today is going to be exciting because we will be taking a look at this brand new Search and Smash truck set, which looks fantastic. It comes with a new Raptor, okay? We will also take a look at our entire collection of diorama and playsets right here. Review every single Raptor figure, all the different vehicles as well. Okay, let's also pick up all the new figures and add them around the playsets to create a beautiful Jurassic World, okay? Let's do this. Alright guys, now welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. As you guys can see, all the figures are inside this box. Let's have all of them placed right here on the table. I'm super excited. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, are you ready? Ready to unbox this one, which is known as the Search and Smash truck set. I'm pretty excited to be honest, especially with this new is this an Atrociraptor? I think so. I don't think it's a Velociraptor. I think it is an Atrociraptor. Let's get it up first, okay? Let's cut this loose. Have to be really careful not to hurt the dinosaur, alright? This is out. Wow. This looks like a fantastic Atrociraptor. Looks really beautiful. We'll take a closer look at this later on because we have to get every single item out from the box oh my goodness okay you take a rest right here okay in this little cage here <laughs> all right just stay safe over there all right and let's get this tracking gear out hopefully we don't damage the box like too much wow okay like, let me just try my best to like lift this up there you go i think there's no way you just have to like you know tear this portion off so you can see this is a nice capture gear let me place this one right here first of course, we need to get this. Um, not too sure what to call this. A soldier. It's not exactly a soldier. A, a staff. Maybe a mercenary. Yeah, very cool. It comes with very nice, like, you know, clothing and some weapons around uh, the body. And of course, it comes with a tranquilizer, I think. I, I think so. It could be a, a gun, but it looks more like a tranquilizer. Alright, I'm gonna put the figure right here. And of course, we need to get this vehicle out. So there's like a little compartment here for you guys to like actually tear this off. Uh, let's try our best not to damage the box like too much. Okay, let's try. Let's get this out. Okay. Very nice. So we have to turn this little lever right here. In a um, clockwise direction, I guess. And it should come off like pretty easily the other way as well. Okay, let me just tear this off. Anyway, we are throwing away the box, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it looks kind of messy. Okay. I don't really like this kind of packaging because it's really troublesome. But yes, it is out from the box. Just gonna put this box aside. Just throw it to one side. Yes, and let's have a look at this really awesome looking truck. It looks fantastic. It comes with a zip tie right here, so we need to cut this loose as well. It reminds me of the previous truck. It looks almost identical. Let me show you guys of the previous truck. I mean, not identical. They have the same kind of uh, mechanism. I'm gonna put this one right here, okay? So let's have a look at the Atrociraptor first, okay? I'm very excited about this one. Of course, you know, you can see this is a new color scheme. You guys will want to scan this in your Fax app for sure. I'm pretty excited to add this to my Fax app as well. Okay, let's do um, our scanning as well, okay? Let me just zoom in a little bit, tighten my tripod. So this is the code. Here's my Fax app. Scan this. Got it. Yes, that was nice and fast. A Atrociraptor. Initially, I thought it was a Velociraptor. Let's just take a look at some facts. This facts, you guys should know. The weight of three cats. Okay. Um, you can see. You can basically rotate it. And it seems to be living in a desert. Very nice. Let's try this. 
Alright, you can see, let's scale it down. Wow, it looks pretty incredible. You can rotate it. I think when you tap on it, it's supposed to like roll. Let's try. Very cool. Come on, make some noises. Nah, he's not working. I mean, she. Is it a she or is it a he? Um, not too sure. Let's try this. Okay. Alright, you scan this. There you go. Very nice. You can see the Atrociraptor. Right. I mean, this is like your, you know, it's blended with the surroundings, so it looks, it looks really cool. Okay. So enough of this. So I'm very happy that we have added this Atrociraptor. We are going to place different figures around this entire playset. Okay. This one is known as the Outhouse KR set. It is a fantastic set. Of course, this one actually comes with a headgear. How do we wear the headgear? Let's have a look at the um, instructions. Oh, it's not really a headgear. It's supposed to like wear around the neck. So, all right. So I think you have to like clip it on like this. That's actually very, very cool, I must say. Really, really beautiful and creative. Let's try to fit this in. There you go. Wow, it looks awesome. Do you guys prefer your dinosaurs with the tracking gear or with the... Let me know down below. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is actually part of the um, packaging. Of course, it comes with this little um, soldier. I'm not... I don't really... I don't think this is like an actual character in the, the uh, movie. It basically comes with this weapon. Uh, I don't think he's able to hold a gun well. Let's try, let's try. Put it into um, his hand. Wow! Pretty cool. Able to hold it well. We can use this like like a walking stick to you know the can is a bit too short. Very cool. Alright, let's have a look at this vehicle. How do we actually use this vehicle? Okay, there seems to be um is there a code to scan this? Nope. You can open the door right here. Very cool. The door is like you know kind of like see-through. It's like a wire gate this side as well. I think you're able to like push this open. How do we activate this? Let me have a look at the box. Oh, you're supposed to like stand right on top of um, the vehicle. Let's try this. Let's try this together. Okay. So the Trusty Raptor is supposed to pounce on the vehicle like this. Oh, cool. You can see immediately it creates like a little dent and also sort of like damaged um, the bonnet of the car. Very cool. And it doesn't come off, which is awesome. So you can see, looks very, very nice. So basically, you can have a play, you know, like a scenario where the Atrociraptor pounds onto the vehicle, tries to attack the person in the car. Very nice. I'm gonna put this um, human. Yep, I called, I mean, let's just call him a human. <laughs> let's just play this human inside the car. To be safe so that we don't lose it okay so yeah very cool we'll put this vehicle right over here right in the middle of the chaos playset and um the gun i'm just gonna keep it like at the back of the truck or maybe inside the vehicle like this yeah very nice i think this is a really beautiful jurassic world vehicle you can see it has a you know jurassic world logo yeah, it seems like a very nice truck. You can put different dinosaurs at the back as well. You can probably put some different Atrociraptors at the back. Okay, next up, let's pick up a few Atrociraptors. When, I've, when I say a few, I mean a couple of them Atrociraptors. As you guys can see, we have quite a few of them. So we have Tiger. Uh, you can actually put some Atrociraptors right at the back. It's pretty cool. I mean, it, it's going to look cool. Placing it right at the back. Oh, we can put one of the Atrociraptors. Um, can we put two? Maybe it's a bit, it's a, it's a far stretch. Maybe another one on top of the vehicle would be nice. Yeah, this is looking pretty awesome, okay? We can definitely like lock one of the Atrociraptors up in that little compartment over there. So this is basically Atrociraptor Ghost. We can um, place Ghost right here. Um, it's actually supposed to be for Pyroraptors. I think it would be better. So let's just put all the different Atrociraptors around this vehicle. 
So you guys can see we still have um we just try to balance this atrocity. It doesn't seem to be um um standing very well. Okay, there you go. Very nice. I, I love this color scheme. Okay, I, I think that is a generic atrociraptor. These two are red. So you can see they are basically the same figure. We have um two similar figures. But this one is different because it doesn't have patterns on the legs. Very nice. Let's just place this one right here. So all the atrociraptors on the, um, the left hand side, okay? Very nice. Very cool. Okay, next up, what shall we take a look at? Um, Okay, we're gonna take a look at different dino trackers of dinosaurs right here as well. You have the um, Indoraptor, you have the Diablo Ceratops, we have the Stegosaurus, plenty of them. But first, I want to take a look at this truck right here. I can't remember what is the name of this truck, so let's scan this. Let's scan this. Yeah, we got it this time. Hopefully, it loads fast. Okay, let's just place it on the table first while it loads. And let's have a look at this. So this truck is awesome. You can basically press this button. Okay. Why is it not working? Okay, you can press here as well. So the entire front of the car will just fall apart. It's very, very cool. And you can put like different humans inside. I mean, different characters inside here as well. Super, super awesome. Let's um, close this right back. Um, this part, I think you're able to open it as well. Um, yeah, it's a very cool truck as you guys can see. I can't remember how this actually works, this little button. Does it like fall apart? Oh, it's supposed to have a door over there. Where's the door? It's right here, guys. I think it came off. Okay, so let's place the door back like this. So you press this button, this door will just fall apart. So it's basically very cool. You can use like different raptors. Um, okay, for example, like a pyroraptor just clawing at the door like this and it will just fall over. Okay, I think next I'm gonna do something really fun. I'm gonna hatch one egg. Yep, hatch one captive eggs, guys. Okay, um, just give me a second. Let's hatch one captive eggs for you guys, okay? Because you guys actually love watching this. Let me get my um recycled back here i'm gonna recycle this back later on uh we're gonna open one of these eggs hopefully you can get another metallic figure i think that will be um awesome let's try um open this together okay here as well Okay, you guys know that this X they can get pretty messy. The very first um, series is absolutely, you know, messy. So we have to be like really, really careful. Okay, let's just pour everything out like this. Okay, the slime, super sticky. I need to get some wipes okay need to get some tissue to help me out right here clean this okay hopefully we are able to get a very nice shiny metallic figure i think that will be awesome let me get my scissors let's cut like a little opening right here let's see what we've got oh it seems to be the brachiosaurus guys i think so let me pour the contents out without dirtying the table hopefully because the slime is actually very hard to clean off yeah i'm gonna put this aside all right let's see yep we have the Brachiosaurus right here. Just pop in the neck. And um, you pop in the tail. So that's our first mini figure of the day. All right, very nice. I love opening these figures. Okay, let's head back to the app. Select a dinosaur you want to try to capture. Let's try the um, Ichthyovanator. 
So what is this actually? So it is, I think it is, it is another g game, but I want to know what is the name of this truck. Do you guys remember the name of this truck? If not, it is okay. We'll just leave the game to load because there are more sets to show you guys, okay? This is basically a vehicle. You can see Kayla Watts is actually inside. Are we able to open the front? Yes, you're able to open the front like this. Very cool. So Kayla Watts is basically, you know, sitting inside. And this is actually from the Copter Combat Set. Yeah, it comes with a Rajasaurus. So you can see this vehicle, it's, um, it's very nice. It's, it looks really beautiful. You can actually open right here, okay? So let's go back. So this is basically a game. You can see the vehicle right here, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Uh, yes, I'm gonna... Uh, do you re really want to create? Yes, I just want to find out the name of, um, you know, this vehicle. So that is the track. What is this known as again? Search and Smash Truck. That's a Search and Smash Truck. And um, this one's probably... I'm not too sure guys. Do you guys remember what is the name of this truck? Is it a wild WoW capture? Not too sure, let's see. Hmm. I think it's okay. It's okay. Alright, let's um place this helicopter right over here. Okay? Really beautiful one. Oh, okay, in case that you guys still want to see <laughs> this one, it actually comes with a door which you can open. So it's very nice and it comes with a projectile as well. So once you press this, the projectile will actually shoot. So it's very cool and it comes with a spare, you know, missile right here. Very, very cool. Place this one right in. Yeah, this vehicle is a little bit dirty. So I definitely need to clean this up like later on. So let's close this back. No, we, we can't close if the missile is in it. So you can see this propeller is able to rotate here as well. Very nice. So, very nice vehicle, I would say. I'm gonna place it one right here. Next, we'll take a look at the Diablo Ceratops. Have you guys seen this? How many of you guys have seen my review on of this? Diablo Ceratops, if you guys have watched it, you should know this is known as the Devil's Haunt Face, okay? Oh my goodness, we have forgotten about this. So this can be attached to the vehicle. And this is supposed to be like a little crane that captures the dinosaur. So it's very, very cool. You can actually capture the Pyroraptor. And speaking of Pyroraptor, this is um, one of the um, um, basic sets of the um, Pyroraptor. So you can actually capture it like this. Absolutely beautiful. I have another Pyroraptor right here. I think this is from the attack pack. So let's do a zoom in on that. Okay. We can actually place the Pyroraptor inside this little capture compartment. I'm not too sure what is the exact name of it, but you can see it fits really well for a Pyroraptor. You can capture the dinosaur like this. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so let me place the other Atrociraptors back to the feet right here. So all the Raptors, all the Atrociraptors will be placed over here, okay? So I've shown you guys the Diablo Ceratops set so it's time for us to move on to another vehicle. So this vehicle right here is actually, it came from a set with the Paris Rollifers. It is actually a um, legacy collection set. Uh, this is Roland Tembo. Um, is one of the um, um, characters in um, Jurassic Park movies and is so supposed to be an animal, you know, kind of like capture expert. So he was hired to like capture the dinosaurs. And this is Dr. Alan Grant. Very nice little figure. This figure came along with the Dimetrodon. Okay, so um, how do we fire this? Okay, I can't remember, but it's okay. Okay, I've brought... Okay, we actually forgotten about this. This is basically from the Earth House Chaos set. So you can actually attach this to the end of this set right here or the other side is really up to your own preference and creativity okay so what we're gonna do is that i'm gonna place this little vehicle right here i want to place it like you know as if it is entering 
the enclosure, like right over here. Let's place it right over there. I think it's gonna look fantastic. But first, I wanna see how this actually works because I totally can't remember, guys. Why is there like a projectile right at the back? You know, you can actually remove it. Is there like a, um, I can't remember what was the uh, missile. Is there something that I've missed out? Because I, I totally cannot remember, guys. How does this actually work? Can we open a bonnet? I don't think so. Are we able to open a door? Okay, no. Ah, there you go. You can actually do this. You know, it's been a while since we have um, taken a look at this. So I have totally forgotten how this actually works. So you can place this right back. And you can see there's a projectile right here. You can press. Let's try this. You can press it. And it will shoot. Very cool, and it comes with additional missiles, you know, over here. Awesome stuff. Okay, so I think once you place it, you have to place it, put it in like very accurately, otherwise, you can't close it. Yeah, push it right in. Let's try to see all the way in, and you are able to close it. And of course, you can put different um, characters inside because it's able to like hold two people of course Roland Tambor won't be seen in the same car as Dr. Alan Grant I don't think that's possible but it's very nice let's let's just put it right here you can put more people you can see the vehicle is kind of dirty because we haven't touched this for like at least like six months so let's place this right here okay very cool super cool I love all these vehicles so it's time for us to like sort of like reorganize um this place we can move the Copter slightly more forward This vehicle right here I'm just wondering whether we are able to fit all the vehicles You know, into the little compartment We'll try, we'll see how it goes later on Hopefully we can I have an idea of how to actually arrange um, the vehicles Maybe you can stack two vehicles on top of each other We'll see about that So I want you guys to watch the entire video Because I'm gonna do some rearrangement Okay, so it's time for us to Place different dinosaurs into this super awesome playset. Okay, first let's get the um, Stegosaurus out of the way first. So this is basically the Dino Trackers gigantic tracker um, Stegosaurus. Okay, you guys should know this. It comes with two buttons. Okay, one moves the tail left and right. The other one moves it up and down. Very cool. I'm gonna put this one maybe right in this little corner. Of course, we have the Indoraptor. Um, not too sure. I, I really can't remember all the names. Are you guys able to remember the names? I know this is known as the Track and Attack um, um, Indoraptor. Track and Attack, but there are so many different, um, different ones that I can't remember at all. Yeah, that's just way too many, and they're all so difficult to. Perhaps I'm getting old as well, which is why my memory is failing me. Yep, let's put this on, back on. Track and attack, Indoraptor. I think this has got to be um, my most favorite figure so far. Okay, just close this drawer. Doesn't look pretty. Okay, how do we actually use this? Can you guys remember? Okay, this button opens the jaw. I really love the fact that they have painted this figure with a coat of shiny metallic paint. I think it looks fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put the Indoraptor right over here. Here we have the Dryptosaurus, guys. Dryptosaurus, apparently it's also a... Um, is it a Tyrannosaur? Do you guys remember? Let's do a... Shall we do a scan of this? Um, figure as well because I think many of you guys have not seen this so let's do a scan of this to see whether we are able to um, get the information fast there you go pretty fast I think we already have this figure so yeah Dryptosaurus it was discovered in North America and it weighs a weight of about two cows it's actually pretty light if you ask me okay I'm gonna put this one right here all right Let's see what else we've got inside the box. Actually, plenty, plenty of other figures. Okay, we have 
a Velociraptor. This one came along with Dr. Alan Grant. Oh no, no, it came with Dr. Ian Malcolm. Very nice green raptor. I think you can see this little platform right here. It's like a little bridge. You can actually put different, you know, raptors on top of it. It looks awesome when you do that. Absolutely awesome. Okay, this one is actually one of the um, Atrociraptors playset. All this like individual cages for the Atrociraptors. So you can basically put some raptors some atrocity raptors into this little metal containment okay let me try let me try okay you can put this one right in like this it looks fantastic and you can see there are like scratches and marks all over this metal compartment it's it's really beautiful and it also comes with a little hole right here you know for the tail to be extended very very cool absolutely beautiful compartment can actually get more of this to form you know like the scene in Jurassic World Dominion where you know each Atrociraptor was in its individual compartment I think that's awesome next what do we have here yo Kakaria which is a um, Kakaro Dontosaur yeah this is the raw attack beautiful figure where can we place this it's a bit too big to be placed anywhere so we can only place it like right over here oh my goodness Dryptosaurus just fallen down okay next up there's this little what do you call this it's probably like a reception kind of um cable to um receive signal so this one is supposed to be attached somewhere over here yeah i think you can actually attach this right here if i'm not wrong or is it the other side i think it's the other side let me just head over there and see how we can actually attach this this has been around for i mean this set it's been around for a couple of months or two or a year so yeah the many things have totally forgotten how to actually put this back do you guys know I have totally forgotten guys How do we actually put this back? Hmm, can't remember But I think it's okay, we'll just, um, you know, leave it here Alright, let's see what else we've got Okay Chronosaurus I don't think Chronosaurus belong, you know, in any area Maybe we can just create, you know, just take this space here as a, a water biome Okay, oh, we still have one more. This is like a pillar. Is this... Can we add this one right here? <laughs> nope. I don't think so. Okay, Chronosaurus, raw attack figure. Very, very cool. So this is basically like the latest figures that you can find so far. Of course, not forgetting the Sino Tyrannus. This one, let's try to um, clip this on because it keeps falling off, which is kind of annoying. So let's just clip it on. And keep it there for like forever uh, yeah let's try yep there you go it's kind of tight so very nice sino tyrannus yep this is the gigantic tracker sino tyrannus sino tyrannus i think is known as the chinese tyrant is it known as the chinese tyrant i cannot remember it's basically one of the um um tyrannosaurs very cool okay let me just place this right at the back okay guys so let's move on next we have the Nothosaurus yes another prehistoric kind of like semi-aquatic monster I wouldn't call it reptile because I'm I can't confirm whether it's a reptile let's just call this a prehistoric semi-aquatic um creature animal yeah it's definitely an animal very beautiful i love this nothosaurus just added this to our collection like with me and we have plenty of other figures right here we have plenty of raptors so the raptors can definitely be placed around the playset. we can basically create a scene where the raptors 
has ba has basically invaded the entire command post right here, the chaos up house post. Okay, and here's a red raptor. This can also be placed maybe over here. Okay, very cool. Here's another raptor. Let's see how what else can place you know on this place set. I think it's looking very very nice at the moment. I have a Mega Raptor. This is probably like way too big to be placed, um, you know, on top of the playset. But we can definitely put it like around the playset. This it's a Roar Striker Mega Raptor. I'm gonna put it right here. What does Dryptosaurus mean? Do you guys know what does the name mean for the Dryptosaurus? If you guys know, let me know down below. Um, you know, same goes with the eel cockerier. Now we have blue. Blue, I think we can put one or a few raptors around this breach right here. This little balcony, not too sure what you call this. You know, this little platform right there. You're able to play some um, figures. Here's another one. Extreme damage raptor. We can also play this one over here. Looks pretty cool, I would say. Paris Roller first. This is not from the Legacy Collection. This is actually uh, the Paris Roller first that came along with Owen, Owen Grady. So you can actually put this and um, put this on top of the uh, compartment. We have Beta. Beta is very small. Beta can basically fit into any place you would like. You can even put Beta in the, one of the vehicles. Uh, but I'm gonna put Beta maybe right over there. Let's see whether I can fit Beta here. Yep. She can sit right there. Beautifully done. Another Raptor. Okay, another blue. So we have quite a number of blue to be honest. We can put like one Raptor's one raptor in on top of the vehicle like this it looks super cool another one we have two betas two exact same betas maybe another one on top of this vehicle but it may fall oh it's standing very nice very nicely we have um what is this known as um i mean the previous version was basically fierce force but for this i can't really remember um, yeah, it's very dirty as you guys can see. I need to clean this up. When I see the dust on my figures, I have this urge to clean it up immediately. Like, you know, like during the video, guys. And here's another Dilophosaurus um, Pyroraptor. Yeah, I basically cleared my entire box, guys. Take a look at this. Everything is empty. I think there's still one more figure, still one more mercenary. That we can add to this um, playset, but overall, I think it's it's great. So what I'm gonna do next is that I'm going to um, I'm gonna clean all of them up and place them back onto the shelf. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. Okay, so let's do this. All right, guys, welcome back to Level Two Jurassic World Midlands. As you guys can see, I have placed all the different figures, all the different playsets back into this little corner shelf right here okay so you can see the latest what is this track tracking let's just call this a tracking truck you know the iGen truck right here the, the copter set right here the other truck right here and the of course the chaos outpost playset so you can see i've basically placed every single vehicle into this little compartment and um i've placed different atrociraptors and Pyro Raptor into this particular shelf right here. And I think it's looking pretty cool. Okay, so yep, just a quick look. I've also placed back the Il Cockerea, Sino Tyrannus, Diablo Ceratops right here. I've also placed back the Nothosaurus, Chronosaurus, the Lophosaurus, Stegosaurus. What else? I think. Oh yes, the last one, which is the um, Parasaurolophus. So yep, 
very happy. I've basically cleaned this entire area right here and I think it is looking pretty good right now, okay? So thanks for watching this guys. I will see you in the next video. Signing up from Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands.